Triathlon, simply put, is a summer endurance sport consisting of swimming, cycling and running that are completed in that order. Now, it covers a huge spectrum of race distances, starting off at the short end with Super Sprint or Novice, all the way up through to the iconic Ironman at the other end. Well, today we are going to be covering the key essential points that you need to know to be able to tackle your first triathlon. Now we know that triathlon consists of swimming, riding a bike and running, the question is how far? Well, like many endurance sports, there are quite a few different distances to choose from and in triathlon they generally tend to be grouped into short course and long course. Now, the shortest and most accessible event for the triathlon newbie is usually referred to as the novice or the super sprint, which is very common for giving a go as your first triathlon. Olympic distance or standard is the most common event and that's where you'll see athletes competing at the Olympic Games every four years. So under the long course bracket you've got two different distances here and the first one being middle distance or half Ironman also known as 70.3 that is because it is 70.3 miles in distance and you see more people now actually tending to do that as their first race as it's part of a bucket list type event and then of course you have the iconic full Ironman now that is double the distance so I wouldn't recommend doing it as your first event because it is a pretty big day out so it's a good idea to get a few smaller triathlons under your belt before attempting that. As we've explained already, there is a whole range of events to choose from in the sport of triathlon. But we here at the channel would highly recommend the err on the side of caution and stick to the shorter ones like super sprint or perhaps novice. Yeah, but if you are really confident in the water, then maybe you want to consider doing a sprint or an Olympic distance event. But for your first one, it's probably best you ignore these for now. All you need to complete your first triathlon is your trusty pair of trainers. Now indeed, you might well have seen people wearing these fancy shoes that can attach themselves to their bike with, with cleats and such, but these are things to aspire to later in the day and you can progress to. But to begin with, just to get through your first triathlon, once you leave the pools, all you need is your trainers. Now, if we're doing a race in a pool for men, a pair of swimming trunks like these is perfectly okay, and of course for women, a swimming costume. Indeed, if I wanted to do a race wearing a pair of board shorts like these, then nobody's going to tell me that I can't. But we have to remember that if it's an open water triathlon, then anything we're wearing in the water is underneath that wetsuit anyway. Of course, unless you're really lucky to live in a part of the world where the water is too warm to allow a wetsuit. But in all likelihood, we'll be wearing a wetsuit in the water if it isn't a pool-based triathlon. Obviously, a triathlon does require a bike, but there's no specifics as to what it needs to be. You might see pictures of the professionals on bikes that look more like rockets. Well, an aero bike like that isn't necessary at all. Any bike will do, so it could be even a commuter bike, a mountain bike, or even a bike with a basket on the front. As long as it works and it's safe, that's what counts. Another option could be to borrow a bike from a friend, but just make sure that you're a similar size to them and you've had a ride on it beforehand so you know that everything is working safely enough. Once you leave the water, be that in the pool or in the open water, you really can wear whatever you want. More experienced triathletes will likely be wearing a race suit and they will probably finish the entire race in that. But don't be worried if you want to stop in transition, dry off, towel down and put on a top and shorts like I'm wearing just now, even a jacket if it's cold. The only thing you can't really be doing is racing half naked. Tripods aren't a necessity for a triathlon race, but they are obviously designed to make you more aerodynamic. But that said, don't worry about those until you're feeling very confident on the bike and you've started to improve your bike handling skills, and then you can think about adding a pair. The combination of more than one of the three disciplines often gets referred to as a brick training session. Now the most common version of this is cycle to run. So you'll see people leaving their run kit ready as they head out on their bike ride. So when they come back, they can quickly put their trainers on and you go straight out for a run. And this is a great way just to help you get used to that weird feeling. And it is referred to as jelly legs for a reason. And practicing swim to bike is by its very nature a really difficult thing to set up and practice. So I really wouldn't worry about it, especially before your first triathlon. In fact, I don't think I'd done it until I'd been racing for quite a few years. If you're not sure as to whether you can complete the full distance, but you're really keen to give it a go, great idea is to go and look up your local tri club. You can then join in with their sessions, which will help give you confidence, and also speak to age groupers who've been there and done it to get some useful tips. Well, as you now know, triathlon is continuously swimming, cycling, and running under your own power. But there are a few other rules that aren't maybe quite so obvious. 
So phones, you aren't allowed phones on a race course. You can carry a phone with you and if you have to make a call, then you can stop, but you have to take yourself off the race course to do so. Well, following on from that one, headphones and music are also not allowed. This is mainly for safety because if you've got music on, you're not gonna be able to hear maybe a referee, a marshal or a volunteer trying to give you instructions. And drafting. Now you might have seen professional bike racing like the Tour de France or elite ITU distance triathlon where they can draft, but for the majority of racers with age group racing, you cannot draft and you must maintain a gap of roughly 10 metres between athletes. Well, I hope this has whetted your appetite and given you some useful insights and motivated you to get entered into your first triathlon. And if that's the case, then please let us be the first to wish you very best of luck. Yeah, once you've done that first triathlon, let us know how you got on. And if you've enjoyed this, hit the thumb up like button. And to make sure that you get all the videos here at GTN, now that you are a triathlon fan, just hit the globe to subscribe. And if you want more help and insight into how to train for your first triathlon, we've actually made a series of videos and you can find those just here.